You see, what I'm hearing you say during your counseling session with me is that you're not thinking about the grieving process of your father's death in any way. What I'm also hearing you saying is that your mother being in the late stages of life, <clears throat> you're not actually even accepting in your mind. What your other sibling has rights to is the exact same things that you do, but what you've been doing is creating a system of abuse. And abusers are there in the world today, but what I'm hearing is you are abusing your relationships in every way. What I'm also hearing is that you're abating the law <clears throat> in some way in your mind, but in truth, none of those possessions, none of those property belong to you at all. And your brother who owns those things has the right to ask you since you've commandeered those things, and I agree with him on that point, that you moved his property without him being there. You moved his property without his consent. You believed that whoever you lied about, and I believe you lied, uh, attacked him instead of supporting him and helping him. You chose to use that situation to say he is unable to care for himself, but that's not been proven to anyone. And you can collect a whole bunch of people to attack him, but what it proves is that you're an abuser. So what I'd like to ask you is, as a child, were you ever physically assaulted, sexually assaulted, or emotionally or psychologically abused? Because what I'm observing and what I'm hearing is you're vehemently angry about something that is none of your business. Because you're a married woman, and you should know what is and isn't your business with relationship to your siblings and their everything. You see, you can give an opinion if you have a positive relationship, but if you continue to create a negative relationship when you sit in a position of power of money management for your the late father's estate, you're putting yourself at risk of being shoved, and you probably already have been, in front of a national ombudsman. And that is a risk to your life because it will be proven that you have been wrong under the law in every way. Your feelings and your opinions do not regulate federal law any day. Your feelings about a situation do not prove you have not been illegal in every way. You did tell me something about mail. You did express that you went into a house without him being present. You did express things without thinking about how you revealed some of your own secrets. And while this is a confidential room, we have to be clear that God above, if that's what you believe in and that's what you claim you're supporting in your practices here, is not going to be pleased with you because your life is falling to the wayside every time you're contacted for something incredibly reasonable here.